Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to see JMeter setup. So the prerequisite for setting up JMeter is Java. So we should have Java in our system. So first I need to check do I have the Java or not. So I'm starting the command prompt. On the command prompt, just write java space hyphen version so if we have java in the system it's going to show the version but i'm taking an example like we don't have java in our system so copy this location i'm on the oracle website so here we have to accept license and then it's a 32-bit java and then 64 so if you're working on the 32-bit system, download this exe file. And if you're working on the 64-bit system, then download this exe file. As we know, Java is coming in the two flavors, the JDK and JRE. We are going to use JDK for that. So my system is 64-bit system. I'm going to download this 64-bit exe. Just click on this. And here it will start download. Once download is done completely, then we can move to the location where we have downloaded it. As of now, I have already downloaded. So I'm cancel this download. I'm moving to the location where we have downloaded it. So that's my JDK. And as of now, I have the JDK version, which is 1.7, but you can use any version, which is more than 1.6 so we can use any jdk which is more than 1.6 just double click on this exe file and click on the yes next next and finish it shows that i already have it it will take some time so click on next next and it will start installation so let's wait until the installation is completed. So once installation is done successfully, close this window, open a new command prompt and check it like Java installed successfully or not. So I'll check it again like Java space hyphen version. So it will show the version of the stalled Java. In some cases, like after installation of the Java, Still, we are not getting the Java version over here. So what we need to do in that case, like first check where the Java is installed in our system. So in my system, Java is installed in C, program file, and then Java. So the move to the location, here we have the JDK. Inside the JDK, we have bin directory. So copy the path of this bin and right click on the my computer advanced system settings so we need to set the path of the java in our environment variable so advanced system setting environment variable and here we can create a new variable like java underscore home and we need to set the path except bin so we need to set the path Till bin we need not to write bin over here just okay so a new environment variable is created which is java underscore home then go to another environment variable which is path edit it and go to the start of the variable so now here we need to write semicolon and before the semicolon percentage symbol java underscore home percentage slash bin so java home path will come from the java home environment variable and after that we have java in the bin folder so click on ok ok and now again open a new command prompt and then check java again and you will get the java version so once java is installed successfully then we can move to the installation of jmeter 
So for downloading the JMeter, that's the website for the JMeter. You can write on a Google like download JMeter. So I have copied this location and moving to my JMeter website. Here we have the option of Apache JMeter. The latest version is 2.13 and it requires Java 6 or later. We have downloaded Java 7 or Java 8. So we have the latest version. So that's fine with us. Like here we have the binary or the source. If you do not want to make any changes or the customize JMeter as per your requirement. So we can go for the binaries. If you are very much comfortable in the Java and you want to customize JMeter as per your requirement, you can go to the source. But in the current session, we are not required to go for customization. So whatever the JMeter is providing, I'll use it. I'm going to the binary. So I'm going to download Apache JMeter 2.13 zip file. Let's start a download. And once the download is completed, we will get this type of folder. So I copy this folder and taking it to my desktop. Here I'm placing this JMeter zip folder. Right click on that, extract this. And once the extraction is done successfully, then move inside it. Here we have bin folder inside the JMeter. We have JMeter, which is a bat file. Just click on this. It's starting. JMeter. If JMeter is open successfully, means everything is done. We have successfully installed on my machine. So here we have successfully started JMeter on our machine. So from the next session onwards, we'll start working on the JMeter. Thanks for watching this video.